good morning we thank god for a wonderful morning like this um i come your way this morning with something very important um on the subject of prayer i want to read from Acts chapter 12 verse 1 to 5 he said that about that time i'm reading from the living bible about that time the king herod moved against some of the believers and killed the apostle that is james james john's brother when herod saw how much this pleased the jewish leaders he arrested peter during the passover celebration and imprisoned him placing him under the guard of 16 soldiers. Herod's intention was to deliver Peter to the Jews for execution after the Passover. But earnest prayer was going up to God from the church for his safety all the time he was in prison. Amen. So now, Acts chapter 12 gives us, gives us a story or a narration of what happened in the time of the church. Now, if the Bible is for you, or, or if you are reading the Bible, I want you to note these important things. He said that about that time, Herod moved against some of the believers. So, underline some of the believers. And killed the apostle, James. Uh, killed the apostle, James. So, the Bible is for you. You can underline killed, killed the apostle. Now, he also said that he arrested peter during the passover so if the bible is for you underline peter so now this morning i want to quickly talk to you about the necessity of prayer the necessity of prayer now the bible says that about a certain time you see an authority called herod rose against some of the believers and the bible says that he picked on a leader called apostle james and the Bible said that when he saw that it pleased some particular kind of people, Herod killed him with a sword and he also arrested Peter and also planned to kill him. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to understand that we have come to a season and a time in our life where, first of all, we need not to commit the mistake that the early church committed now when herod rose against some of the believers and he picked upon james the apostle i think that what the early church should have done was to clearly play, uh, pray but you realize in the scripture that they 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 somehow didn't do any anything they didn't do nothing they 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 just sat down waiting and hoping that things were going to change but the bible says that james was killed now listen there are some of you out there there are certain things that have rose against people around you it could be certain afflictions it could be certain difficulties that have gotten some people around you it first started with the with the believers went on to the apostle james they got him executed then now it came to peter the apostle now the next thing we've got to understand is when you realize that certain things are going wrong among your friends certain things are going wrong among with people who before now were good people before now were happy before now they were they were they were kind before now they were easy going and all of a sudden there is a sudden change in their life there is a sudden change in their behavior you've got to get to prayer because ladies and gentlemen there is nothing that brings the hand of god in the situation of people or the hand of god in the circumstances of life but prayer so the bible says that they also arrested peter now peter is a symbol of three things i want to talk about first of all peter was a leader so one of the things you've got to understand believers or we've got to understand as people of god is you see if the devil wants to destroy your life the first thing he will do is he will tackle the leaders over your life 
now when i'm talking about leaders i'm talking about the fact that it could be in a family if the devil want to destroy the family he will come after your mom he will come after your dad he will come after the firstborn he will come after the person who is the leader in the family because you see there is a principle in scripture that you should strike the shepherd and you will scatter the flock or you scatter the sheep so with this principle that the devil knows anytime you want to destroy a family he will just strike the shepherd in other words he will strike the mother and father or the mother or father all of a sudden daddy daddy becomes a, a, a drunkard all of a sudden that daddy becomes a bisomaniac all of a sudden daddy begins to daddy begins to spend a lot of time outside all of a sudden mommy mommy begins to get problems with daddy it's not ordinary ladies and gentlemen as far as there may be physical reasons for that but when you see that as a child of god you, you don't have to complain you don't have to wait waiting for things to get better but you should just get into prayer because peter is a symbol of a leader the next thing about peter is peter is also a symbol of a symbol of a, a symbol of peter is also a symbol of a, a source of inspiration now listen the bible says that peter before that or before this time was called simeon the bible said that jesus said that simon i'm going to change your name to peter which simply means a rock so peter being called a rock was a source of inspiration a source of hope was a picture of a source of inspiration a source of hope a source of a source of a source of fortress that somebody could run to in times of help in time uh, in times of need in times where the person needs uh, some form of consolation now there are a lot of us we have a lot of people who inspire us I want you to look around your life which people inspire you it could be a particular friend it could be a particular pastor it could be a particular a particular member of the family it could be a particular person who has been in your life for so long a time all of a sudden this person who begins to inspire you begins to despire begins to aspire begins to begins to instead of inspiring you he begins to need more inspiration ladies and gentlemen it is said that the only ingredient necessary for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing so listen you don't have to even wait for the person inspiring you to request for prayer before you pray for him you've got to get to your knees and pray you've got to make prayer for your leaders you've got to make prayer for people who inspire you it could be people who take care of your needs it could be people who pay your school fees it could be people who just test you every morning and ask how you are doing you've got to get on your knees don't think that the strong become strong by accident or the strong are strong because they are strong the strong become strong because there is somebody making them strong the bible says that there is a spirit in man it is the inspiration of the almighty that giveth him understanding so listen child of god you 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 might you might have been in a problem you have, have, have been in a situation where you expect your leaders to come through for you where you expect your leaders to inspire inspire you but listen your leaders are also human beings who also need inspiration so listen instead of waiting instead of complaining instead of instead of instead of living in regret instead of telling yourself you're never going to believe in them why don't you get to prayer why don't you ask god that god i know this person i know i don't know why all of a sudden he has changed get to prayer intercede for your mom intercede for your dad intercede for your boss intercede for that person who always inspires you the last thing i'm going to talk about about peter the bible says that peter was a leader peter was a source of inspiration peter was also a gift why was he a gift the bible says when you can you read from Acts chapter 1 through to Acts chapter 12 peter was a gift he brought he brought he brought he brought good news to the lives of people he brought miracles to the lives of people peter was a man of diverse encounter peter peter was a man of diverse encounters peter was a man who had literally seen elijah and moses on the mountain peter was a man who has seen jesus in his glory peter was a man who had walked upon the sea peter was a man who had had his shadow cast out evil spirit 
now on the contrary what is happening in our world in our world when we see people who have risen up to uh, to realms of glory realms of power who had who had seen it all who had as, as, as assumed much of the power of god in our generation all of a sudden when we see them going through frustration one uh, in one way or the other we begin to criticize them when you begin to see people who were on fire for god who were doing a lot of exploits all of a sudden begin to wallow down wallow down the, the the pressures of life and begin to give up in life what do we do we see a lot of christians criticizing them but listen though peter was a man of diverse encounters though peter was a man of abundance of revelation he has seen he has seen moses vis-a-vis he has seen elijah vis-a-vis he had he has seen the holy ghost rest upon him he has seen three thousand people give their life to christ in a crusade he never did advertisement in a crusade he never did any posters for he has seen people run to his ministry and submit to the lordship of jesus but what happened to peter peter was caught in prison Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a season and a time where a lot of our gifts, a lot of men of God, a lot of fathers, a lot of leaders, a lot of people who have been a blessing to humanity, who have been a blessing to, to the generation, who have been a blessing to, to the church are in prison now some are in prison of drunkenness some are in prison of poverty some are in prison of sicknesses some are in prison of satanic satanic incubations satanic wickedness satanic imprisonment satanic orchestrations now ladies and gentlemen i want to stir you up this morning instead of just watching their life pass away instead of just watching the pressures of life eat their good dreams away get into prayer say a word of prayer for your leaders this morning i want to encourage you with the last words of paul to timothy he said that i would therefore that men pray everywhere lift up their holy hands in prayer with thanksgiving unto god and he went on to say that pray for kings pray for them that in are in authority why because he said that we may be able to live a peaceable life in all godliness hallelujah so that means praying for leaders and authorities has a direct correlation on your life it has a direct effect on your life i want to charge you say a word for a word of prayer for your dad say a word of prayer for your leaders say a word of prayer for people in authority say a word of prayer for the nation say a word of prayer for them command the protection of god over them command the hand of god over them come against satanic incubations come against satanic pregnancies come against satanic thoughts satanic dreams come against them come against satanic sicknesses declare that it is well with their soul remember god will never do anything on the earth until a man prays if there is a man to pray there is a god to answer as said by apostle Suleiman, keep on praying if prayer does not work for you more prayer will work stay blessed and remember you will always win god is with you never give up in life giving up is never an option jesus bless you amen